Hey everybody, it is Thursday and you're watching Just Random. So for dinner today, I'm going to be making this, um, or like pork stir fry. I said our rice? Yes, I said our rice. I said our fried rice. Love this stuff. With these pork cubes that I bought, I bought, I got like, oops, tripped over my box. I will show you guys the box in a second that I got in box. So I'm going to split it in half. That'll be enough for me and Jeff. But it's late. It's like 15 after 7. And I have been waiting for UPS all day. FedEx woke me and Jeff up at 9.30 to deliver my uh, supplies from uh, Boca Pops Carry. Here it is. I got a big tub of... Oops. I got a big tub of coconut oil and a big tub of palm oil and that big thing of uh, castor oil. And a uh, one pound thing of, well, it's not even one pound, it's, what do they consider this? 15 ounces? Yeah, 15 ounce thing of, uh, let me fill this to the top, so. Yeah, 15 ounces of sweet almond oil. And, like, I have everything ready to, like, make this soap. But I was waiting for UPS because it had my olive oil. And it literally just came before I started vlogging. So, let's open this bad boy up, shall we? Let's get a knife. Open this bad boy up. Hopefully you guys can't see my pertinence. No. Okay. If you can, I'll just blurt out. Oh, got more pack of peanuts, which I will put into the other box. Ugh. And I like put the heat on blast because I was like super cold. Even with like Jeff's uh, Under Armour shirt thing on, you know, I was like super cold. This is one thing to think about uh, wholesale supply, it is free shipping. Like, first thing I want to get is olive oil, of course. Yep. Um, a nice big old tub of olive oil. With a pack of peanut on it. Let's go down in here. Let's, like, take out the pack of peanuts, shall we? I'm going to let you guys know. Hmm. I'll just do this in one hand. Oh, that's supposed to be long. Oh, see? My droppers. Oh, this is what oh, I got. I should have uh, one vanilla couple stabilizer and two. Yep. Fucking my cake. Man, vanilla couple stabilizer is not cheap. Big old five pound thing of kale and clay. Yep. I'm gonna put it. I didn't get that much. I got some more. Okay. I got a pound of TD white for water because I like it best. I think that's it. Let's empty it out. Oh, it's in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, that is it. I'm going to have to clean up this packing peanut. Oh, there's something else. I seen something else. I'm going to have to clean up this packing peanut mess. No, I guess there wasn't anything. I'm just losing my mind. Yeah, so... I'm going to clean up my packing peanut mess and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I have a dry potty because apparently I got a potty too. Later. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night. What is this set on? Okay, so it is the end of the night for me. Um, well, yeah, it's probably like 1030 maybe. Just in bed. He thought it was super late, but it's not. Hi. Hi. How's your movie? Good. I've seen it before. It's old. How old? Like 1979, I think. Oh. 
Well, you guys haven't seen him in a couple of days, so there he is. Hi, Jeff. That's YouTube saying. I did. You guys said. We were yeah. Sitting on the couch and we we're talking about stuff. Oh. Well, I've had some things happen tonight. Say goodnight, baby. Oh, like, see that dark spot? That, like, mustache looking thing above my lip? <laughs> That's the Ky That's what happens when you try to do the Kylie D Jenner challenge. Who's Kylie Jenner? Uh, Is it Bruce Kim Kardashian? No, Bruce Jenner's daughter. Yeah, Kim Kim Kardashian's little sister. Uh. Like it bruised my upper lip, but didn't do it. it. My lips didn't get any like larger or anything. The penis pump technique did not work on my lips. All I did was give me a bruise. I'm just eating my raisins. I gave you a, I gave you some so you could eat them and stop complaining last night. I didn't want you to eat them all. Well, before you go to bed, can you get out and push the bed back up to the wall? Yeah. Alright. So, say goodnight, baby. Yeah, okay. Say goodnight, baby. Goodnight. Okay. Goodnight, babies. Get up and push the bed back. I can do it in the dark. No, you can't. Because you gotta make sure the pillows aren't back there. So, see that exercise pad on my dining room floor? That is because my stick blender, which is very top heavy, tipped over while it was still in the tub. And all it wasn't, it was. It, 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 <laughs> See, very top heavy. I hadn't mixed the lye in yet, so it was just all oil. So there's nothing but oil under my feet. Carpet, and then this, and then, yeah, so. That's going to be like that probably until Wednesday. Because that's when Jeff gets paid, and we can rent a rev doctor so I can clean this mess. But <laughs> that's not all that hasn't happened while well, I'm trying to make soap. My stick bender, which I had less than a month, kicked the bucket. Whoa. <laughs> like, I used it properly. Are you back in front of me? Maybe 10 times, and it kicked the bucket. I think I might have got water inside of it, so it's my fault. But still, I had to order a new one. It's a Hamilton Beach with a detached, a detachable, uh, thingy so i'm actually looking forward to that so i can like stick blend attach it you know stick, have it attached stick blend then leave it in the thing and i just detach it and leave the things in there so it won't like so it won't be so it won't tip over like i'm looking forward to that mm. and i'm pretty sure i got a little bit of lie on my lip because it stung a little bit earlier and yeah, so I just rinse it off. I put a little vinegar on it and a little bit of water, rinse it off. But I feel like I got split lip. It's probably gonna split in the morning when I go to sleep. But I, so I had to. So my first time making soap by hand, like without my without a stick blender, I used. Uh, I like I'm watching House Hunter and National. Yeah. I'm sorry. I I'm watch. Uh, <laughs> I use a whisk. So I got to whisk to whisk to trace. That was interesting, and my arm hurt. But it's and it was only a test batch, so I'm happy it wasn't anything bigger. Because if it was, I would have been so teed off. And, and the big one is like no really? air yeah. but it is possible, Hopefully. so we'll definitely have to take into consideration, especially with this view. And this, right, this, is the, yeah. this is my soap. So this is the next house that we're going to see. The scent is a uh, called First concern. Date. It's only $300. It's um, kind of a light, perfumey scent. I just want to see how it did. And plus, I want to see how my uh, little molds do, but I like that one, so like I'm looking forward towards the uh, my bigger ones. Which, if this turns out okay, then probably when I come home from work on Saturday, I'll do like a big batch of first dates. Maybe I'm not sure. My scent, my uh, fragrance oils might be here Saturday, so I might get my fragrance oils and my uh, stick blender which hopefully will be held at the post office if I can go get it. 
<laughs> so when I finally moved into a house, the first thing I want? Patio furniture. Of but course. yeah, let me say goodnight. I'm going to go and edit uh, yesterday's vlog and get that up. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Check out any one of the social media links down below. Check out any one of the links down below. Um, the video before this is um, how to make a soap mold. How to, uh, how to make an inexpensive soap mold with using corrugated plastic. Um, the sound is a little funky, so excuse that. I don't know what happened with the editing, but I'm not re-editing it, so it is what it is. But yeah, go check that out. You might learn something new when it comes to soap making. And I think next time I do soap, I will most definitely be um, recording it. Because I got a couple of views and like it seemed to be something interesting for people. So yeah, I'm going to say goodnight. Good night. Jeff ready to say good night. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. We do it once a year. Once a year.